So I'm asked often about, you know, my thoughts on uh, African American history. You know, um, it's a really complex thing as we we come to this first day uh, in February. I myself being uh, a lifelong educator and and proponent of education. And, um, you know, sometimes uh, one of the worst purveyors of of, of education as it relates to the history uh, of those persons who are uh, deemed descendants of, of the enslaved or uh, those who are of high melanin content, if you will. Um, it, it is, it is, it's a very complicated, sometimes heartbreaking uh, situation because one, uh, people erroneously assume that the history of persons who are the descendants of uh, the enslaved or, or persons of high melanin content. Uh, a lot of people erroneously assume uh, that that history begins in chains. And, and that is, to me, uh, it is a perpetual uh, untruth, but it is also an intentional untruth. Uh, when you do your ancestry.com, uh, you know, I, when I do mine, uh, it's not hard to trace uh, European ancestry of mine to the 1500s. Uh, but it's very hard for many uh, of us who are, again, coined as black, African American, whatever you would, you would designation you would have. It's very hard for us to trace that history um, before the Civil War. And it's intentional, right? Uh, The very cavalier and haphazard nature uh, of the trading of people, uh, not allowing them to retain their language, uh, renaming them every time they were resold, uh, not allowing them to keep their own records and have that sort of autonomy. Um, you, you got to dig. And because of that, many black people in America uh, don't know their full heritage pre-1865. Uh, and, and many white people don't either. And so we just erroneously assume or we start um, with slavery as if the contribution... Um, of those people only have context in the the American context as as those who were enslaved. And the other piece of it is uh, oftentimes, okay, we want to start with slavery as if that is the be all and end all and the beginning point when there was a much larger uh, story there. But the other part is because of that and because of uh, the beginnings of the relationship uh, between black people and the Americas, African-American people and the Americas, the descendants of the enslaved and the Americas, uh, because of the very complicated history, um, many times African-American history uh, is is, is deemed as something that's separate. You could say African-American, but but you'd be hard-pressed to find much of it in American history. Can't find it in American history. Uh, you, you, you might know who, who, who Martin King is. Uh, most of the time you don't. You just have a couple of quotes and uh, someone else's interpretation of, of the man's story uh, many times far away from the truth. You, you might know who, who Booker T is. Uh, maybe you might hear uh, in passing W.E.B. Du, uh, e. Du Bois. Um, you know, but but you, you surely don't know who, who Malcolm is, Malik Shabazz. Uh, you, you're probably going to still call him Malcolm X to the day he dies, though he didn't die as Malcolm X himself. 
you don't know about Martin Delaney. Uh, you, you really don't know a whole lot about Garveyism, uh, Pan-African uh, movement. Uh, you don't really know uh, who the Black Panthers were or Stokely Carmichael. Uh, you don't understand uh, how the, 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 the push towards civil rights um, and, and the sacrifices of black people led to uh, the extension of, of, of civil rights to other people. Um, you know, without 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, uh, it's doubtful you have a, a 19th Amendment. Picture that. Uh, so there's this, this separation, this compartmentalization um, that often does all of us as Americans a, a huge disservice. Um, they make it separate. It's not separate. They started at, at, at on the shores of, of, of Jamestown, and, and it was much more extensive than that. Um, many times because the people telling our history aren't us, uh, are telling it from a vantage point that really does not necessarily lend itself uh, for 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 good truth telling or, or even a full understanding uh, the history uh, designated as African American history is often misrepresented mishandled uh, misconstrued uh, and unfortunately sometimes outright fabricated Right? Uh, picture that someone telling your story as if you were not capable enough to tell your own story and when they tell your story it is riddled with untruth. Uh, now, whether purposeful or uh, whether by accident, it's still happening, right? And, and, and so that, that really doesn't help. Fact of the matter is, African American history, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, shouldn't be called, uh, shouldn't be an addendum, shouldn't be a plus that, you know, you have to beg to learn. You have to beg to be incorporated in in, in, in curricula. Um, like, at what point? You know, you say, oh, these people are Americans. And yet, their contributions and their history is watered down at best. Um, the fact that we only do this for one month, right, is, is, is comical to me as well. Absolutely comical. Um, as if you could encapsulate a history of a people who have been around much longer than, than this country. Much longer than the, 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 the 244 some odd years of, 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 of physical uh, enslavement, the a hundred some odd years of 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 of, of Jim Crow, um, the, the 60, 70 years of, of post civil rights era. Like, it's laughable to think that you can encapsulate that in, into a month, if you even try. And many people don't even try. But I think that education is the only way. I think as. Uh, my so-called white brothers and sisters learn a truer history. They'll get a greater appreciation and they'll lose a lot of the misconceptions and maybe even prejudice that they carry. My so-called black brothers, uh, likewise, uh, will gain an understanding uh, that perhaps they didn't have when one knows who they, who they are, right? Education is the key to, to a lot of understanding and bridging the gap uh, between peoples. Um, we know what ignorance does. It is not bliss. And uh, the fact that our history has not been fully told uh, and misrepresented really, 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 I believe, uh, makes it easier for our collective division and collective demise. So as you think about this month, what I hope everybody does is some research, right? Really take the time to try to get to know your neighbor. Um, learn the history pre-colonialism. 
see the history as part of the American tapestry. Um, understand uh, how it has been misrepresented because it's been told uh, in many cases by people who either were, were, were disinvested or disingenuous. Um, and really see the power of education. Really see the power of education. Um, we exist here on this, this, this continent, in this hemisphere together. And we're going to do it a whole lot better when we gain a fuller understanding of each other. And so my hope is that this month, uh, you learn some things you've never learned before. You talk to some people and have some conversations you've never had before. You embrace this and you don't sit back with the attitude. Well, uh, why in the world, uh, do we have a whole month, uh, devoted to, to black people? Cause you have 11 <laughs> that aren't. <laughs> I, I get to hear about everybody else uh, every day, including February, with a much fuller perspective and, and, and probably a much more accurate lens. And so uh, instead of taking that approach, what can we learn together? What, 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 what can we talk about? What conversations can we have to move, move forward? The people that don't understand their history uh, surely are going to have problems uh, moving toward their future. And that's not just as it relates to African-American people. Because if the African-American narrative is a large part, a significant part of the American narrative, and America doesn't understand it, then America is at peril. Okay? Just some things to think about. Have uh, a wonderful February. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some of the new things that, that, that we might collectively learn.